Yo, YouTube, so I know you guys see the setup right here, man. A lot of you guys have hit me up months ago, you know what I'm saying, asking for this video right here. I know I'm late, but look, late is better than never, baby, you know what I'm saying? So we got action. But before we get into this setup right here and I explain and let you guys know which guards are compatible to this, that, and the fourth, you know what I'm saying? I need everybody watching this. If you're new and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button right now. Join the family, join the team, join the brand. Road to 1K, we're basically there, man. We just gotta get over this next little hump and we'll officially be at 1K. So if you support your boy, you rock out with your boy, man, send me some love by hitting that subscribe button, man. Like button as well, and comment, sharing this video, doing all that good stuff, man. So now we're gonna get right into the video. Um, so first thing first, we got our outline of blade. This blade right here, I really don't use, you know what I'm saying? And the reason I don't use it, I don't feel like it really gets as close as my trimmers or even let alone my clippers when I have them zero gaps, you know what I mean? So I really don't use it. I probably use this, man, honest to God, maybe two times at the max, you know what I mean? So this blade right here, it is just not, you know, I'm not a fan of it, I should say. The reason I have my wall senior right here lined up with my triple zero is just off the simple fact when you have your lever closed, it cuts pretty much the exact same as your triple zero. So I like to kind of have um, my clipper here as a reference. So if you guys get a little confused, you can kind of see what I'm doing with my lever. If I'm opening it up, telling you one um, blade is compatible or vice versa, you know what I mean? So. The triple zero is compatible to your level all the way closed when your clipper is not zero gap. As you guys can see, my clipper is stock, it's not zero gap. So it cuts just like that. So sometimes I get in that a little later. But um, yeah, so just make sure you know when you're going with your triple zero, that's your level closed. So if you have a client that can't get a ball fade, that's what you're gonna use, your triple zero to set in that first guideline, if you get what I mean. So now, we got our number one. And I still wanna have my clipper in my hand because now, as I said, you know, previously, the triple zero is your lever closed. So your number one is gonna be the lever open. You see what I'm saying? Let me try to, and the blades are different, you know what I mean? But you get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, so your one is gonna be your lever all the way open. And uh, so when you set it in your fade, if you're using detachables, you wanna come with your triple zero, then with your number one, and that's gonna be the same thing as your level all the way open. You know what I mean? So if you're fading with a clipper, with guards, this is how you're gonna start off your fade. Then when you're on your next guideline, it's gonna be a level all the way open, as we all know from tutorials, you know what I mean? So now we're gonna move on. The next one we have is our number one A. And to not confuse you guys, we started off with a number one, and then we're on our 1A. And I know you guys see me pick up the number one Babeless guard. So your 1A is gonna be your number one guard. So if you take your clipper and you put your guard on and you open the lever, close the lever, essentially, the number one guard will be equivalent to the number one A blade, you know what I mean? So just remember that. Let's flip that guy back over, take this number one off. Um, then we got the number one and a half. And you guys know, like in a lot of my tutorials, when it comes to laying somebody hair down, whether it's a wave or whether it's just somebody with an all even, this is typically the guard or the blade that I use because I just feel like it gives a smoother cut and a smoother lay down rather than the one and a half guard. So I know you guys already caught on to that. So your one and a half blade will essentially be the same thing as your one and a half guard on whichever tool you, you choose to use, you know what I mean? So essentially these are the same, you know, um, cutting links, you know what I mean? But granted, when you use detachables, when you use blades, this is considered a true one and a half rather than this. It's kind of some leeway room in it because people zero gap their clippers. People go halfway with the lever. People go all the way open and, you know, vice versa. They just playing with the lever, you know what I'm saying, depending on the client. So you kind of got some leeway room with this one right here rather than with this one as long as you don't touch anything in the inside, adjusting it, making it cut closer or making it cut not as close. Then you get a true one and a half if that makes sense. And, um, now we 
got the number two blade, which is equivalent to the number two guard. And like I said, when you use a number two blade, you're getting a number true, a true number two cut, if that makes sense again. And the reason that the guards don't really give you that number true, that two that's true is off the simple fact. Man, that's a tongue twister, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, y'all try that, you know what I mean? But the reason it doesn't give you a true number two is off the simple fact lever play you know what i'm saying so you can go halfway open it up three quarters whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying just playing with the lever rather than when you're using a detachable you know it's no lever whatsoever therefore everything is true as long as you don't you know fine tune or move or adjust anything inside of the blade you get what i'm saying so you know what i mean and if you guys see that right there look don't pay no attention to it but i love when my subscribers dm me on instagram asking me about a, a product or a tool, you know what I mean? And if you haven't already seen it, I'm gonna link it in the description. I did a Walmart clipper challenge. This was the clipper that I used. And in that video, I just stated, you know, if somebody is interested in this pair of clippers right here, hey, hit me up. Y'all can get it, because I probably won't ever use it again. So I love, love that, man. If I can give back to an upcoming barber or a barber that's trying to just start off and doesn't have a lot of money, we all been there, you know what I mean? So, boom. Shout out to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You'll be getting that in a couple of days for sure. But yeah, that's the that's the end of the video, man. I just wanted to get on here real quick and kind of just show you guys what is compatible to what. Because I know it's a lot of different detachable blades out there, man. And um, it can kind of get, it's really no kind of, it can definitely get expensive. You know what I'm saying? And when you first starting off, you it's this big debate between guards and blades, you know what I mean? And then if you kind of lean to going towards the blade way, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be a lot of money. So real talk, man, I'm not going to say y'all no false dreams. Y'all know how I get on this channel. Um, this is literally all the blades that I own, you know what I'm saying? Because typically I'll fade with guards, but if it's like a day that is just crazy, your detachable blade... Oh, your detachable clipper is just like a workhorse. As long as you keep the maintenance up, as long as you keep it oiled, greased, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be good, you know what I'm saying? It gonna cut right through the hair. So I will say this too. If you're just starting off, I would say go with the guards. Just off the simple fact, when it comes to blades, blades, man, they, they're very not forgivable you know what i'm saying with guards depending on the clipper you're using like the seniors got a faster motor a powerful motor than the magic clip so they're not gonna be as forgiving as the magic clips and that's the same thing that goes on with the guards and the blades you know what i mean the blades you got to kind of know what you're doing and kind of you know what i'm saying have some type of confidence when you come to using them because if not man you're gonna end up taking the fade too high not being able to get a guideline out then when you're gonna pick you up lever clipper up your adjustable clipper and it's not gonna you know do what you wanted to do you gonna get frustrated and it's gonna throw your whole perspective off when it comes to the blades in reality man the blades they're not bad you know what i'm saying um i just and then i also the reason i like to use the blades because when i first stepped into the industry i didn't want to be a barber that didn't know how to use certain tools you know what i mean i wanted to be able to be comfortable with every single tool because you know, you never know what type of situation you're gonna be thrown in, you know what I mean? So I wanted to be able to use any and everything that way if it came down to it. I didn't have an adjustable clipper. I had a um, detachable clipper. I wouldn't be, you know, scared to death. I didn't know what to do, where to start, none of that stuff. So that's why I went on and, and you know what I'm saying, did what I did and learned and figured out the blade system and what was equivalent to what, thanks to YouTube, you know what I mean? Thanks to talking to other barbers. They plug me in, so I'm gonna plug you guys in with the same information. And what I was saying was, this is literally the only blades that I have when it comes to detachable, because the one and a half is essential, just all the simple fact. I cut all my wavelength cuts, all my um, short cuts, all my brush length cuts with that one and a half guard, because it gives me a smoother transition and a smoother lay down. However, like I told you, I don't use the outline of blade, just it doesn't do what I needed to do. So real talk, this is the only lineup of blades that I use is my triple zero, which is the lever closed. My number one, which is the lever all the way open. My one A, which is the number one guard on the clipper. You know what I mean? Oh, my glove got stuck. <laughs> and then my one and a half is the one and a half blade. 
the one and a half guard, I mean, on there. And then my number two is my number two guard on there. You know what I mean? So there you guys go, man. That's why I only have, for real, <laughs> five guards. Just off the simple fact, man, they get expensive. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm really not going to do any hard fading with my detachables on a link no higher than a number two. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I do what I do. But I hope you, you know what I'm saying, you learned some information with this video, man. A lot of y'all been asking me, man, you know, what what's compatible to this, what's compatible to that. So I wanted to give you guys this video. I know I'm late, but continue to DM me on Instagram. I will put my screenshot up right here on the screen right there. And y'all, you know what I'm saying, DM me with any other questions, man. If you guys would want like a 101 or anything like that, man, when it comes to topics like these, just let me know, man. And if you're new and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join the team, join the family, join the brand. And until next time, we out.